welcome back everyone okay um, for this episode I'm gonna show you um, how do I make one of the most uh, popular pasta and drink um, in Asia all right especially if you go to Malaysia Singapore Indonesia they call it te tare okay te tare te is tea tare is pool so it's a pool tea all right basically it is made piping hot and I just pull it to make it frothy and to cool it down a bit all right and the froth adds a bit of a um, makes it look more appealing okay um, and also lately um, there's a few joints that sell milk tea with pearls so yeah on my next episode I'm gonna show you how I do it as well all right the base are the same just add something all right so I'm gonna go through with you the things that I use all right pretty simple uh, setup okay our ingredients okay all right the kind of tea two type of tea all right depending on what my mood is okay generally I will use the okay not this brand just any of the there's there's a few in the market all right I tend no I tend but I'm familiar with this so I stick to this brand okay this is an Indian tea or um, it's a Thai tea okay this Thai tea is a bit special what they added in is a flavor of, uh, of uh, vanilla okay so there's a modern touch to it it's a vanilla tea its taste is a bit you know like vanilla plus uh, it is a bit like herbal okay so um, I'm gonna use this tea for, for now okay it's the same uh, it's gonna be the same um, amount of tea I'm gonna use anyway all right so I'm gonna use the Thai tea it's a vanilla tea which I'm gonna put inside this um, inside this container and let it brew okay uh, it has to be strong all right that's why if you have tea late at night or early of the night just that you can't sleep after that all right it is have to it has to be made strong okay then I'm gonna use pandan leaves okay pandan leaves as adds a bit of uh, beautiful aroma okay so not only there is a, a, a hint of vanilla uh, taste and smell and tea plus also pandan all right and the milk i'm going to use is any condensed milk and evaporated milk all right so uh, whatever amount of uh, condensed milk i put i'm going to put the same amount for the evaporated milk okay so if i put two i'm going to put two as well okay let me have a look at the stove is the water ready for the tea okay hang on a sec okay it is uh, it is bubbling it's gonna be boiling soon but i'm not i try not to make it boil okay i just let it uh, like on a like a on a slightly below boiling point okay uh, uh yep all right let's get things ready all right good time Like I say, it is made really strong. So the pot holds about a liter of water. And this is how much of tea I'm gonna put inside. Okay. And also I'm gonna show you after this, my secret ingredient, okay? To the tea. Okay, add a bit more, just to fill up the whole infuser okay let's see if it covers or oh, i can take a bit more okay so as uh, at the end result is it's really strong tea okay 
it is ready so come with me I'm gonna plumb this inside the pot okay so in the small pot it's uh, okay, let it simmer okay I try not to let it boil okay this kind of heat is good enough okay just lower down since it is uh, achieving the temperature which I'm after uh, kilox let it simmer say about 20 minutes okay I will stir it on and off okay right here okay now that is uh, been simmering it's not boiling if you see it's been say 10 minutes okay I'm gonna put pandan leaves okay this will add an additional beautiful aroma to it Okay, first thing I'm going to put in is the condensed milk. Scrape every bit of it. Okay, I'm going to put two parts, okay? Two parts of condensed milk. See, condensed milk actually it adds the sweetness to it and the evaporated milk adds the element of richness to it okay so I got a bit sweet a bit rich see the color it's coming up now this um, yep it's getting there I'm not saying this is the color we're trying to achieve but yep two parts then I taste, okay? Getting there, not sweet enough. I'm gonna put two parts again, all right? Same equal portion of uh, condensed milk and evaporative milk. Evaporated, not evaporative. Okay, one and two. Now the color is getting there. Yes, almost. Okay, I think I make this all in all takes about 15 minutes. Okay, preparation wise, it's pretty simple and straightforward. Okay, okay, the, I did say about this uh, secret ingredient which I use. Okay, it's no longer secret. Okay, now I will tell you what I'm going to use, which is salt. Okay, I'm going to put, I'm going to put about say half a teaspoon of salt that's it okay it brings up the flavor you can tell the difference so you won't say you won't taste the saltiness but it adds you know it adds, it adds a depth of flavor to the tea Okay, yep, that's it. So we are ready. Okay, um, let's try a bit more. I don't have the richness which I'm after. Okay, it's sweet enough. I mean, I like it sweet, but I don't like I don't like my drinks to be overly sweet, okay? I like it a pleasant sweet though, okay? So I just thought, if I were to put one more of condensed milk or sweetened milk, 
it's a bit it's a tad too sweet for me all right i want it not overly sweet that's why i um did not put the condensed milk earlier instead of put the evaporative milk just one more uh, two more tablespoons to the size this is a tablespoon this is a bigger one okay yep right basically this is it just let it rest for a bit more let it simmer a bit more and yeah what can i say this is it that's a the easy way to do it all right pretty simple you can have it cold you can have it hot okay okay next i'm gonna show you how i'm gonna pull the tea This is it. Have a look at the froth. Guess how it's done. Trick is, do not pull when you go to the smaller glass. Pull it when you go to the bigger one so that it doesn't spill. Alright? That's how you do it. Salute.